Good morning, campers. Faze here once again after yet another long hiatus. Today I've got something very special for you. Today we're going to spear the fish. This move and its name was inspired by a thread that popped up on the Shovel Glove forums a little while ago talking about how to develop balance. And this is what I came up with after a long time thinking about that thread. So, first, I'm going to set down my trusty six pound demonstration shovel glove and we're going to talk a little bit about the footwork first. Now, the starting progression for this, you have to be okay with standing on one leg. If you can't stand on one leg for very long, then we're going to have trouble getting along. So start here, and once you're comfortable standing on one leg and the other, then we can move on. This transition is what we're going to be building off of, okay? So you have to be pretty comfortable doing this one-legged thing. And it might not feel like a huge challenge, but I'm hoping it will be pretty soon. And, you know, this is one of those things where you can go a little bit faster, or you can go for distance, as long as you don't slam into your cat tree like I almost did. There you go. Now, once you're comfortable with that kind of hopping around, this is called a lateral jump, and I'm sure you can find these on some other websites about plyometric exercise and that sort of thing. So, when you feel good with just a lateral jump, you can arm yourself with your shovel glove, now, routinely I do this with my 12 pound, but since we're demonstrating, I'm already winded, so I'm using the 6 pound so I don't kill myself while demonstrating. So what we're going to do is, <clears throat> we're going to picture ourselves standing at the edge of the stream. We've got ourselves coiled up, our spear is pulled back, I'm holding the shovel glove like I frequently do with my thumbs pointing at each other. Everything is coiled up like this. I got my right leg in the air, I'm balanced on my left leg, knee slightly bent, and I'm going to go over to the right, and I'm going to go back. That's one. You can do this like that, nice and slow, if that's what you need to do. But try and synchronize your, your lead hand, in this case your right hand, with your right leg. So when the right leg is up, the spear is up. When the right leg hits the floor, the spear goes down. And then you can do it fast. Or you can do it for distance. And that is spearing the fish.